Witajcie z tej strony Sebastian i dzisiaj postanowiłem pokazać Wam tutaj bezdomnego w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Jesteśmy w tej chwili w Hollywood i chciałbym, żeby opowiedział nam swoją historię. Co się stało, że został bezdomny, że nie ma prasy i w jaki sposób sobie radzi tutaj. So hello, my name is Sebastian and I am from Poland. And what is your name? My name is George. Nice hello. to meet you, George. My name is Sebastian and what is your name? Jerry. Hello, Julian. My name is Sebastian. What is your name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, so nice to meet you, Jonathan. What did you do before you became a homeless? Uh, I was married. I have three children. I was a very good mechanic. I went through a bad divorce and things didn't go very well and I kind of got into drinking because I was so upset and this and that. And I built uh, cabinets, kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets. Mm -hmm. Started drinking, you know, a little bit. And I used to use drugs recreationally. Mm -hmm. You know, cocaine, oh. marijuana. Then when I lost my job, you know, I started drinking more. Mm -hmm. And at this and moment, now I'm, now I'm almost 60 years old, so it's hard to get a job at this age. I dog groomer. You give him bath. Yeah, you're out here on this property. And you cut your hair. Why did she ask about something like this? Because you know? she's a bitch. Ah, okay. uh, they sold the business, and then it's hard to find another job. And what, what then? And I kept drinking and drinking. Well, but I found that all of you are drinking. So it is uh, it is typical that uh, people here which have many problems, they start drinking, yes? Sure. Jerry, so where are you from, Jerry? I'm from Miami. You are from Miami? Yeah, and I'm a country you... boy from Miami. Mm -hmm. What did you do before you became a homeless or workless? Oh, worthless, I'm not worthless. Workless. Oh, Workless, oh, oh. sorry man, no, no, <laughs> workless. I got women all over, I got, work, <laughs> I got women working all over the street for me. Yeah. I got them working all up and down Federal Highway. Mm -hmm. But what did you do? I was an iron worker. I should build uh, big buildings and tanks and hospitals and airports and uh, uh, stuff like that. And uh, how many no, years no, ago? I'm a union iron worker. Mm -hmm. I'm, I made 25 bucks an hour. But I made good money. What's changed? What happened that uh, you lost well, your Well, I became 60 years old and the, and the crunch went down a couple of years ago, you know, where nobody had any money here. Mm -hmm. well, that that came through, and uh, so I, uh, when it went, went over, I said, well, oh, look here, man, you're 60 years old. We don't need you to kick mm -hmm. me to the curb. Mm -hmm. I make more money than the police do. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what do you think? Many people have the same problem like you? Oh, yeah. You see, I lost my license about, uh -huh. about 30 years ago, so it's kind of hard to get around. You know, I mean, if I was 60 years old and I had me a truck, I get around better, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I relocated down here, mm -hmm. and I think what happened with South Florida, the minorities, the Haitians and Cubans, mm -hmm. come over here work cheaper, mm -hmm. and it messes me up for work. Because you know my rate of pay is fifteen, twenty dollars an hour. They want to work for eight, ten dollars an hour, mm -hmm. and they live in poorer neighborhoods. So they will work cheaper. Are you from Florida? I, I was born in Hartford, Connecticut originally. I moved mm -hmm. down here in 1986 with my brother. And how long are you homeless? Um, probably like the last three to five years. I, I've been homeless on and off. I mean, I had jobs here and there, but I lost my ID and I don't have my birth certificate from Connecticut. So I, I have to renew all my ID and get mm -hmm. my, all that. Where do you live at this moment? Um, mm -hmm. On the streets. The shelters are all by the government mm -hmm. and they help you. Um, food stamps helps you. Mm -hmm. But other than that, no. And they help all people or they help only U.S. citizens? I think only U.S. citizens. Yeah. I think. So if so, situation of the immigrants which are here and right. they are homeless are even worse than, than, uh, than uh, your US, I think. No, they yeah. couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I understand it. Uh, well, once you get on the street, you know, it's like so hard to get off because like you're homeless, you know, you're, you're dirty half the time, mm -hmm. you know, you, and you don't have many clothes, so how are you going to get a job, you know, it's mm -hmm. a vicious circle trying to get back on your feet again. Okay, so when situations start to be bad, it is worse and worse? Uh... Yes, 
Yes. So how to change this? Yeah. Do you have any idea? How do you have any, any solution how to change this? I don't, my, the only solution I know is going in a shelter, you know, a program. Mm -hmm. You know, but most people go in the program and get out and they go back to drinking and it just happens again. And do you have any family? Yes. Do you have contact with them? He's pretty mad at me right now. Yeah, my son. Well, your son. My your son. son. He's not talking to me right now. Yeah, well, because, you know, I mean, he tries to help me, but I keep doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, do you try to find a, a work here? Yes, uh, somebody uh, talked to me today down by the BP gas station. He wants me to show up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to take me to work. Like handyman work, painting and things like that. Uh, if you're I'm actually friends, living or? under a bridge, but it's it's waterproof and it's on the water right down over here. And I tried to see if I could get a mental health check mm -hmm. and then work 20 hours part-time. But they denied me twice already. So now the third time, if they deny me, I have to hire a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take at least a year to a year and a half to settle it. Okay, I understand. And do you have any support from the government? Uh, yeah, I get food stamps. And uh, how much is it? Some... They give you like 200 a month. 200 a month, so yeah, is that's... it enough to stay alive? But oh, it is, sure uh... it is, yeah. If you know how to shop, you can survive on 200 a month. Okay, so, but what is your actual situation? Do you have any support from the government? Do no, 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 not yet. But do you have any food stamps or something like this? Some... Mm, yeah, I get food stamps. Mm -hmm. Food stamps, 200 bucks a month. A month. Yeah. And where do you live? No, well, I'll take them or some of the Chinese people and get, and I, I sell two for one mm -hmm. and get, get, get me $50 on 100. Oh. Then I go out and smoke crack all night with it. No, no, no. <laughs> not, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> okay. And could you tell me, please, where do you live at this moment? Where do I live? Yeah. I live in the wind. They call me Mr. Breeze. Oh. I that's... live right, I live in the wind. Mm hmm No, but I got a couple mansions over there that I live next to. Mm hmm I, I got a gated community. I've got a, a waterfront property right over here under the bridge. Mm hmm <laughs> You know what I'm talking about by being under the bridge? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, well, see, 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 see that bridge right there? Yes. All right, it goes through. There's a bridge over there. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you just pull up under there. And, okay, you know, if you're too drunk to walk home, just sleep up under there. Uh, do you have family? I had family. Yeah, my, 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 uh, my ex-old lady had three grow houses, marijuana. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she had three houses like this. This and that. Mm -hmm. So what are different you... parts of town? She grows mm -hmm. marijuana in them and sells it. But why? To why, are you, why are you not with them? Uh, what? Why are you not? Because with she was them? a bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and so <laughs> yeah. you you lose your wife and you lose uh, your. I child didn't lose them. I ran away from her. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ran away from that mother. You know, look at me. Okay, so you are 60 years old, yes, and it is difficult for you to find uh, any job. Um, but do, right. where do you live at this moment? I stand at the bridge across the street. No, they have okay. showers down there where you mm -hmm. might be clean up and stuff like that. And do you have any possibilities to change your life? What, what, how can you change anything? Or maybe who can help you? Do you have any support from the government? Yeah, well, uh, when I, I, I collect food stamps, $200 a month. Mm -hmm. So that helps me with my food. And I got two more years, I collect Social Security. Mm -hmm. So until then, I have to rough it, more or less, because mm -hmm. the and system what, in Florida is not too good. And what do you think? Is it good to live in the United States at this moment, or is it difficult to live here? Because many people around the world think that the United States are, are still something like a paradise. And is that true? Maybe you have some bad luck. Maybe other people have better situation here. Yeah, but, you mm -hmm. know, I think the situation is bad everywhere. Mm -hmm. The economy is bad in Europe, the economy is mm -hmm. bad here. Yeah. And do you I'm think... walking around with no teeth in my mouth, mm -hmm. I'm 60 years old, so nobody wants to hire me. Okay. So now when I'm 62, I've collect, you know, I made decent living mm -hmm. through the years, so... Mm -hmm. And what do you think, is anyone looking for you? Or no one is looking for you? Maybe someone wants to no, help I, you, but they cannot find you. Yeah, I can go live. You know, my family would help me, but you know, mm -hmm. they have their own problems in their own life. We depend on bus passes. 
Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a, you have to walk everywhere you go. Yes, and I found that it is almost not possible to find any job if you don't have your own car. Now, right, right. Or even and if you have a bus pass, at least you can get to a job. But when, but when they cut the bus passes, like, you can't even get to a job. You can't even look for a job. But when, they, uh, when did they, when they cut it? About six months ago. Six months ago. So now you cannot, you, you need to buy a ticket, yes, if you want right. to travel somewhere. Right. Uh, and it is still expensive here, I think, yes? Yeah, so. I mean, like, if you're not working, how are you going to mm -hmm. get money yeah. to get a bus pass? <sighs> it's a vicious circle. Yeah, right. Um, well, my dad is 92 years old, and, you know, my mom passed away in 95, my sister got divorced, she's living with him, and he really, he's not, he's so old, he's getting a little senile, and I don't like to bother him to borrow money and things like that from him. I talk with my brother, he works for Broward General Hospital in Fort Lauderdale, so I see him. He helps me out once in a while if I need a little handout. And how old are you? How old are you? Uh, 44. 44? Mm -hmm. But yes, it is tough for people from other countries to come over here. You know, mm -hmm. Because right now the job situation is tight as it is, and we're going through an election year with the presidency. And, and do you think that anything will change when? Uh, I don't know who will be the new president. Barack uh, Obama or, I looked at the paper yesterday, and it looks like that Obama might get it another four years. Mm -hmm. they, they don't really want Romney in there. They don't really want a Republican. They want a Democrat. Uh, I can't make enough cash to get back up there and go visit them. Mm -hmm. They live up there in Jacksonville, which is uh, 300 miles away. Mm -hmm. yeah, I understand. And what needs to happen to change your life at this moment? If you will find a job, everything will change? Sure. Uh, no, well, the thing is, yeah, I can work. Mm -hmm. Look here, look here, man. I ain't real. I ain't, I ain't no punk. I'll work. And are you trying to find a job, or you think no, that well, is... Well, no, just... thing. no, 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 people offer me jobs, and I go to work. Mm -hmm. You know, like somebody wants me to paint their house. Some casual well, jobs, yes? Yeah, mm -hmm. but see, I'm not used to casual jobs. I'm used to doing real, real work. I you know, I'm used to doing iron work. I'm an iron worker. Mm -hmm. So tell me, please, if... So, but if, I can do anything. Usually right up here by 95, flying a sign, making money. Mm -hmm. Because that's all I, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. I play cops and robbers, okay? The, co the, co the cops try to try to mess with me. Mm -hmm. oh, shit, man, shit. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey, you're a cop, I'm a robber. Huh? So I'm going to play this game with them till, till, uh, till I turn 63. I'm 60 now. Mm -hmm. So I got to be, what, 62 or 65 to get my money from, the, you know, from Social Security or whatever it is. And what do you think? Is it good to live in the United States at this moment, or maybe some what? other countries? What? Is it good to live in the United States? Yeah. Maybe you, are, you have. Yeah. To, yeah. You just gotta know how to act. So it is still uh, it is still a good country to live. Yes. For example. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to Poland, hell yeah. I, I ain't never been to Poland. <laughs> uh, but I heard, I heard, I heard about England. I heard about the war. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, but my, I've got English friends. You know, they they tell me all about how. England got bombed and how they grew up and they oh, in England, the ghetto. Germany, Germany and Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, England too. They, they bombed. And they help us. We was in the same site on the same side. We well, were... they, they bombed. Well, they, somebody bombed England because my buddy lived there. He told me all about mm -hmm. it. Watch Roadhouse. That's why they call me Roadhouse because I look like Sam Elliott. It's in, it's in the movie. Mm -hmm. And the police are over there. They come up on me one day and I'm calling them a bunch of punks. So they slam me on the ground and mm -hmm. start stomping on me. I said, hey, you're still a bunch of punks. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then one of them goes, wait a minute. He looks like he, that guy from Roadhouse. Ah, uh, they couldn't think of the name. Sam Elliott. Mm -hmm. He looked like a movie star. Good luck for you. Okay. Thank you. So thank you nice very much. Meeting you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, so thank you very much, George, for your, for your time and have a good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey. Okay, so I'm not bothering you. Thank you very much and, uh, and have a good luck. You too. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Well, well I got more. <laughs> okay. I got, I got plenty more. Okay, thank you very much, Jeremy, and, and have a good luck.